Have you ever crashed your drone and broken the propellers and had to replace them? How do they work? And what happens if you replace them incorrectly? And how many YouTubers does it take to change a light bulb? All of these questions will be answered in this video, except for the first one, because I'm not you and will never be that awesome. That's correct. In my previous video, you will have seen this. Back to follow me mode and the... Oh! Oh dear. And this. We do have knackered propellers. And this. Yeah, they're ruined. But not this. <laughs> What's this difficult called? <laughs> I'd had a pretty horrendous crash and had to replace all of the propellers on my drone. Pilot error? Now, perhaps it was the adrenaline, or because I'd misjudged the weather and I was wearing three layers and sweating like a pig, or simply because I'm an incompetent idiot. Probably. But I'd put the propellers on the wrong way round. I feel like such an idiot. I thought that my Mini 4 Pro was wrecked, and I'd have to send it back to DJI and claim on my DJI refresh. It was only when I got back home and super glued the broken arm of my drone that I noticed something wasn't right. Wait a minute. That doesn't look right. Now, one of the benefits of being a YouTuber is that you get a limited amount of time travel. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey, do you know what the crack is? Whilst I was happy that I'd actually not completely wrecked my drone, I immediately got on camera and went back in time to chastise my past self. Mm. You've put the propellers on wrong, you idiot. So, propellers also known as props, air screws, rotor blades, magic fans, air oars, and the idiot's fidget spinner. How do they work? The propellers spin in such a way as to create a downward rush of air. In accordance with Sir Isaac Newton's third law of motion, any action produces an equal and opposite reaction. Therefore, this rush of air can overcome the force of gravity. The propellers on each side of the drone spin in opposite directions to counteract torque. Otherwise, the drone would just spin around itself. By adjusting the speed of each propeller, the drone can be manoeuvred around the X, Y and Z axis. This can also produce yaw which is changing the horizontal position of the aircraft around its central axis. My brain hurts! <sighs> okay, they spin faster than the speed of light, which is why you can't see them when they're spinning, and this makes magic anti-gravity. If you want to learn about that in more detail, NASA have put together a really, really good STEM learning document online. I'll put a link in the description below, but all props to NASA for doing that. Some kind of a joke, sir? Mm. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. It would be great if you could help me get there. So if you could just hit like and subscribe and click on the notifications bell, that will help the channel out and will also mean that you'll get to know when I upload a new video. Thanks very much. Enough talk, let's get on with it. The upshot is that if you put the propellers in the wrong position, they could end up spinning the wrong direction and pushing the aircraft down rather than up. Stop, stop, there's something very wrong here. In my video, I'd got the propellers on the left-hand side of the drone mixed up, and the drone was effectively trying to flip itself over. So he flips them over and he f <laughs> Now there are diagrams on the packets for the propellers, and also you will of course have read the manual on how to install the propellers as well. Yeah? No doubt. 
But DJI have also added this handy way of telling which propeller goes where. On some of the propellers there is this line. This corresponds with the marking on the arm of the drone. Here and here. So that way you can't get them mixed up. This is the same for both the Mini 3 Pro and Mini 4 Pro. The Air 3 has a slightly different system where the top of the motor corresponds with the colour of the circle on the propellers. The Air 3 has a quick change system for the propellers. Now why doesn't the Mini 3 Pro and Mini 4 Pro have that? Well it's likely to be because DJI want to keep the weight of the drone under 250 grams. Now a quick tip for you when you're unscrewing the screws on your Mini 3 Pro or Mini 4 Pro, hold the top of the motor while you do it and make sure that your screwdriver is in the vertical position and properly engaged. When you're screwing the propellers back on, don't over tighten them. Stop screwing when you meet a bit of resistance. That's what Wes said. Yes, the editor is going through a bit of a... We call it the phase. He's discovered a library of short clips. It'll be over soon. Um, I can't think what the, the past tense is actually. Phased. Thank you, Geordie. So with all the guidance that DJI provides to help you fit your propellers correctly, you'd have to be a bit of a thicko deluxe to get it wrong, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? That is obvious, Mr. Scott. Oh, and to answer the question about how many YouTubers it takes to change a light bulb, well, it's just one, but they sit there and hold it and wait for the world to revolve around them.